Hi, I'm Amber. And I'm Marcy, and today we're going to tell you about the newest addition to the Moody Gardens Rainforest. The newest addition to the Rainforest family is a female and male Komodo dragon. Her names are Murphy and Diablo. Komodo dragons have the name dragon because they breathe fire. Actually, that's a mythical creature that doesn't exist. But the real reason that they are called Komodo dragons or that any lizard gets the name dragon is really it just means any lizard that has any kind of social dynamic within their natural lifestyle. The most unique thing about Komodo dragons is their size. They're the largest lizard in the world. Komodo dragons are often referred to as poisonous. I wouldn't necessarily say that they're poisonous, they just carry high amounts of bacteria in their mouth. And usually that's more wild Komodo dragons as opposed to the ones we have here in captivity. And the reason for that is because in the wild they will eat carcasses that are rotting and that causes lots of bacteria in their mouth. Komodo dragons get about 10 feet long and weigh anywhere from 50 to 100 kilograms. Komodo dragons are native to the Komodo Islands. They actually live in a variety of different ty types of forests within their islands. They can be found in temperate forests or grasslands. And they actually can also swim between islands as well. Here at Moody Gardens, we do everything we can to, to mimic the, the animal's natural conditions. Within this exhibit, we mimic not only their natural temperatures, but we also try to mimic the plants and other things that they would see within the wild. Like these guys like to swim, so we've provided them with a large pool, and we also have plants that are indigenous to the areas that they are native to. Komodos eat a variety of items. Here at Moody Gardens, we give them anything from birds, eggs, meat, fish, they are listed by IUCN and CITES as a vulnerable species. What this means is they are a species that can be endangered in the future if their native lands are not preserved. At each of our sessions with the Komodo dragons, we try to do some training. This training includes station, going into a crate, husbandry behaviors that we need to keep them nice and healthy. On a daily basis, we try to provide them with some form of enrichment. That's to engage their senses, so anything from new items to step on, something to smell, uh, new textures, anything of that sort. Komodo dragons are incredibly intelligent animals. They're actually one of the smartest reptiles in the world. It's debated whether or not they can see specific colors, and I believe that they can recognize individual people. Um, they're a little bit different to train when you're dealing with a mammal versus a reptile because their metabolism's a little bit slower, but they're just as smart and can learn just as many behaviors. Our Komodo dragons are brother and sister. We've had them from a very young age and they continue to thrive well together to this day. Make sure to come out and visit our new exhibit with our favorite animals, Diablo and Murphy, our Komodo dragons. They'll be on exhibit February 15th. We hope to see you then. Visit moodygardens.org for more information.